Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from a very bright and colorful shop in Newcastle. We're at Queen of the Tees, and if you're on Highway 62, or as they call it here in Newcastle Main Street, you will not miss this place. And the fun doesn't stop once you're inside. The shop is home to all sorts of gifts and especially t-shirts. From custom designs to old favorites, we'll tell you how to get your hands on one a little later in the show. But first, we're going to take a trip to a place whose colors are really only provided by Mother Nature. Easily one of the most peaceful, natural places in our state. Absolutely. So come with me now to the Tall Grass Prairie Preserve in Pahuska. In many ways, this area is like a living ark. It's been called the Big Green. The sheer expansiveness of it can humble you, leave you in awe. But while it's massive, covering 40,000 acres, it's also serene and peaceful, but very much alive. It's a big open landscape that demands respect the last big chunk of tall grass prairie really left on the continent. To me, prairie means kind of an unfettered horizon. And, uh, you know, where you can spin around 360 degrees and it's just this open space. So to me, grasslands and prairie is all about the openness of the landscape. And that's, that's what this is, is that, that rolling landscape kind of takes your breath away from you. Not what you expect in this part of the country. The Nature Conservancy got involved to preserve the tall grass prairie back in the late 80s. Their intention was to try and restore the amazing ecosystem found here. Now the reason the bison are here is for the ecological influence that they provide. The Conservancy does controlled or prescribed burns to mimic the seasonality of fires that shape the prairie. Consequently, this ecosystem is the only one of its kind any place in the world. You have to have all these different patch types out there at any given moment in time. You have to present this this continuous smorgasbord of habitat opportunities. And so as a land manager, that's the challenge, is to keep that system going. And the way we do that is by trying to simulate what we think was that original disturbance regime that was so important to the prairie, that grazing fire interaction. Different species require different types of patches, so to speak, but the most popular animal for visitors. Bison are the, the uh, probably the most sought after in terms of our, our visitors, one of the primary characteristic species of the prairie and so people really want to see bison so we we overwinter typically about 2,000 bison and then with the summer season and the spring right now we've been, we have babies being born every day right now but all the species bring the prairie to life this time of year what strikes me is the the, the liveliness of it um, especially in, at dawn if so if, we, if you're out here at dawn in the early morning just everything moving, all the birds being active, all the insects, everybody's calling, everybody's getting down to business. And the diversity of species may surprise many. It's beavers, a surprising amount of beavers in the stream and on the, the ponds, the man-made ponds also. Um, grassland birds, uh, all sorts of uh, diversity there. And of course that changes through the seasons. Um, migratory birds and then resident birds. Uh, greater prairie chickens are another charismatic type species that's here year round. And prairie chickens require very different patch types during different parts of their life history. So, so they in particular, you have to manage for this landscape diversity if you want to maintain greater prairie chickens. So, um, and then uh, insects, a lot of different butterfly species, uh, fishes, reptiles, amphibians, if you've never been here, you really need to plan a trip to come see the Tall Grass Prairie Preserve. If it's been a while since you've seen it, come back and let the grandeur engulf you. I think people are, are struck by the, the scale of it and the openness of it. It's just uh, this unfettered, it, it's, it's like freedom. <laughs> you can plan your visit to the Tall Grass Prairie on our website, TravelOK.com. It is truly such a peaceful drive, everyone should make the trip. You can also find some peace of mind and a different kind of drive at one of Oklahoma's great golf courses. Winter Creek Golf Course, located just outside of Blanchard, is a beautiful escape from the city where you can enjoy a challenging round of golf. We are in the middle of nowhere, which is really nice because it's a nice getaway. You're really close to Blanchard, you're really close to Lindsay and Chickasha, so we're out of the way but not too far from town. Um, so it's a nice place to just to kind of get away. So we are a semi-private country club, um, so we have memberships available and we also are open to the public. 
Winter Creek offers an 18-hole golf course open to the public and includes lots of other amenities for members like pools, fishing, and much more. Uh, we have newly renovated greens. We just switched to Bermuda, so that's really big for us. Um, they're currently growing in and they're growing in nicely. Um, our golf course has a beautiful layout. It's challenging, um, but fun. We caught up with a group of golfers who have been playing Winter Creek for years. And the layout is absolutely phenomenal. It's uh, as good a layout I think there is in the state. The greens are getting better every day, day by day. And then I gotta, I gotta blow smoke at these guys. The guys that play out here, just a great, great group of guys to play with. This is a tough golf course. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not just your normal little golf course from tee to green, no rough, no sand traps. We have 90 some sand traps on this golf course and about, uh, what, 14 lakes. So you, you have to be able to play golf to play here, you really do. But it's a good place to learn also. Besides the fun challenges you'll find during your round of golf, you will also encounter some Oklahoma wildlife and beautiful scenic views on the course. We have lots of wildlife out here, so while you're playing, you can see anything from deer to turkey. We have a lot of road runners, um, lots of geese families. It's just a nice place to get away and enjoy nature. After your round, enjoy a meal at the bar or restaurant in the clubhouse and check out the golf shop for the latest gadgets and gear for your game. Head to Winter Creek Golf Course for a beautiful, challenging, and fun round of golf. When you've played a lot of courses in the city and you're looking for a new challenge, Winter Creek is definitely the place for you to go. We're welcoming and inviting. You won't find better customer service anywhere else. Um, so we just welcome you to come out here and play. It's a fun place to just kind of escape and get away from the city. Um, it's kind of a nice hidden little gym and nice getaway. You can reserve your tea time online at Winter Creek's website and you can find other great courses to play at some of Oklahoma State Parks. Hit up our website, TravelOK.com, to find out more. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We thank our lucky stars every day that we get to work here and be a part of, you know, the community coming together and, and making memories. The Tulsa hotspot where there's a little bit of something for everyone. They'll show up and and we'll give them buckets and they can go out and, and uh, fill their buckets and sample as many as they want. And the pick your own berry farm that's packing them in. We added a whole brand new LED light system and so uh, really you can see those lights from just about anywhere. Plus the bright lights and big ride in the heart of Oklahoma City. If you want to get out of Oklahoma City and have a good hamburger, this is the place to go. And don't forget the food. We're at a small town burger joint you've just got to try. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We're having such a fun time at Queen of the Teas in Newcastle where just about everything glitters. And up in Tulsa, they found fun in the heart of the city. And Julie Chen's going to take us to Guthrie Green. It's a picture perfect afternoon at downtown Tulsa's Guthrie Green. That's exactly what brought Daniel here. Got some friends that I brought from out of town and so I've wondered like where would be a good place to show them around and I think it's a beautiful spot. A lot of cool things going on. From festivals to fitness classes to fireworks, there's always something going on at Guthrie Green. Guthrie Green is an urban garden and performing arts space. So we're located in the heart of the Tulsa's, of Tulsa's Brady Arts District, which is known for uh, all of its museums and galleries and restaurants and bars. And, and we kind of sit right in the heart of that uh, and we're a gathering place for everyone. The green covers an entire square block. It's a former industrial site turned green space. For instance, these rooftop solar panels help light the park. Underneath the park is the geothermal, which actually not only uh, helps take care of the Guthrie Green, but it heats and cools the building across the street that houses the Woody Guthrie Center, the Flyloft, 108 Contemporary, Zaro, and the Philbrook. So um, we also have biospells in the parks where the water flows through the rocks and it helps filter and clean it before it goes back in the system. There's just a lot of different ways that Guthrie Green has uh, come in, clean up the spot, and left a smaller environmental footprint than we found. The urban green space is in its fifth year. It's become especially well known for food truck Wednesdays, Sunday concerts, and splash pad fun. I know that they do a lot of um, live concerts and sometimes even show some old films and stuff. We were out here the other day and they were doing yoga. Guthrie Green has some exciting new events ahead. We've got a kids event that's new this season called Guardians of the Green. Uh, which is a big superhero day for all, all the kids of Tulsa. We're very excited about that. We've added an urban luau called Hawaiian Dreams on the Green, which we're really excited about. 
Uh, and there's several other uh, cultural festivals that'll be coming this year and a night market called Bazaar on Brady. So there's a lot of fun things that we've planned for this season and we hope everybody can come out. Guthrie Green is home to 400 events during its peak season. The easiest way to find out what's happening here is to check out its social media. Available through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We also have a website at GuthrieGreen.com. And the best part, the events here are free and open to the public. Guthrie Green is a pretty cool place for Tulsa. We thank our lucky stars every day that we get to work here and be a part of, you know, the community coming together and, and making memories. Guthrie Green, land made for you and me. Just a beautiful place to walk around. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, discovering Oklahoma. You'll find a complete list of all the events at Guthrie Green on their website, and if it's the food trucks you're after, you'll find them every Wednesday at lunchtime from 11.30 to 1.30. Lots of folks love the food truck scene here in Oklahoma, but there's something else that's gaining popularity in our state. Like picking your own fruit and produce. Our friends at the Oklahoma Agritourism Department suggested a trip to the Sandy Creek Blackberry Farm in Sulphur. All the obvious puns came to mind before writing the script of this story, Strawberry Fields Forever or Finding Your Thrills on Blueberry Hill, but at Sandy Creek Blackberry Farm, it's all about picking, well, blackberries, of course. I guess I'm a big fan of blackberries. And with that, he and his wife Val bought this place last year and came up with the idea of the U pick, and now it's morphed into Sandy Creek Blackberry Farm, and here's how it works. So they can either pick their own, which that's, you know, our, our primary audience is those that, you know, our primary customers, those that come pick their own uh, blackberries, or uh, we, we, we can pick, you know, pre-pick orders. We'll sell pre-pick berries. Uh, obviously a little higher uh, just because we have our labor involved in, in the picking process but so they'll show up and and we'll give them buckets and they can go out and, and uh, fill their buckets and sample as many as they want and, and uh, we, we'll sell the berries by the pound and, and uh, we also weigh all the customers in and out. As Larry said while you're picking you can also sample along the way. Larry and his wife encourage you to do so. We want our customers to know what they're getting uh, and then that's part of the, you know, the, the benefit of a U-Pick is you get to come out and you get to pick straight, you know, straight off the vine, take it right straight, you know, to your, to your home. Uh, you can't get any fresher than this, so you bet. When our customers are out, we want them to be, you know, we want them to enjoy themselves. And, and part of that is sample a little bit while they're picking it. There are five varieties from which to choose and all of them have a little bit of a different flavor. Two varieties. They do have thorns. Uh, the other, the other varieties are thornless. All of them have different characteristics. Uh, some are, you know, some are bred. Uh, plants are bred, developed more for flavor. Uh, some are more for for size of the berry, or 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 combination of, of the two. Some of the names of those blackberries include Kiowa, Natchez, and Osage. The Osage was my favorite because it was so sweet. People pick blackberries for various reasons, of course. Some make jellies and jams. Bev Billings is a regular customer. Well, I actually um, do blackberry cobblers, and they freeze very well. I wash them, freeze them, and then throughout the year, then I can have some blackberry cobbler and homemade ice cream. She adds that Larry and his wife Val run a fantastic farm here. They started this wonderful blackberry farm, so I could bring my grandchild. My granddaughter comes and, and um, her friend, and. We just make a morning of it and have a great time out here picking blackberries and getting some juicy goodness. Juicy, healthy goodness fresh from the vine. And what a fun family adventure to come to Sandy Creek Blackberry Farm. Well, it's a good outing. It's, um, they take very good care of their farm. You can see it's well, hon it's well mowed, it's well honed, and um, it's just fun. The kids just have a blast. They are as natural and fresh farm raised berries as you can get. And picking blackberries here can certainly create not only some enjoyable family memories, but adorable ones too. Thank you. Don't drop them. If you're ready to head out to Sandy Creek or another farm like it, you'll want to check out the group of agritourism brochures. We're happy to send one or more of them to you. Just head to our website, travelok.com, and click where it says request free brochures. Still ahead on Discover Oklahoma. 
The burgers are good, but some say the dessert is even better. The coconut and chocolate are our best sellers. And where you can see that big OKC. We like to say that Humid's OKC letters, which you can see behind me here, have become the most selfied spot in Oklahoma. And take a ride that lights up the night sky. That's next when Discover Oklahoma continues. What do you want when you go on vacation? How about adventure or just relaxation? You might want an edge where your mind grows wings or maybe a place to see spectacular things. How about a road where you can get your kicks, throw music and art into your bag of trips? This is the land of wonders far and wide. When you're in Oklahoma, just enjoy the ride. Visit TravelOK.com and explore. Come see for yourself when you want to see more. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. This holiday season, give the gift of Oklahoma Today to family and friends for just $14.95. Visit tvoffer.oklahomatoday.com. Open seven days a week, 365 days a year, Oklahoma's great state parks are stocked with summertime adventures. Suit up and cool off in a lake or river. Hike the trails, dig for treasures, or play around on our unique courses. On weekdays, you can stay and play starting at $75. You get one night of lodging, a round of golf, and a sleeve of golf balls. Get package details at travelok.com slash spdeals and come see for yourself. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Queen of the Tees in Newcastle. And just driving by this place, you know it's going to be fun on the inside. And you sort of get the same feeling when you see the Wheeler Ferris wheel in Oklahoma City. Angela Buckaloo takes us for a ride. In downtown Oklahoma City, you can take a trip back in time. On board, a testament to a simpler time. One not so fast and furious. On board the Wheeler Ferris wheel. It stands 100 feet above the Oklahoma River. Uh, the Ferris wheel itself has 20 gondolas. There's not really anything like it in Oklahoma City. And so kind of gives you a chance to just like take a relaxing ride. The views are absolutely stunning. It's my favorite spot to see a sunset in Oklahoma City. Looking out, you can see for miles, 360 degrees, or follow the meandering river. Look at downtown Oklahoma City or fix your gaze elsewhere. It's all so beautiful and oh, so peaceful. The views from the Ferris wheel, something you can't get anywhere else in Oklahoma. And the Ferris wheel stops periodically so you can get a good look. The gondolas seat six and they sway gently. It's not scary at all. The Ferris wheel itself had an interesting beginning. You can buy anything on eBay. <laughs> Apparently so, and lucky for us, because that's how it came to be here. It was uh, formerly located on the Santa Monica Pier in California, uh, and in 2008, Grant Humphreys purchased the Ferris wheel on eBay, which, you know, uh, you can, who knew that you could purchase a Ferris wheel on eBay? You get a really nice view of the Oklahoma River and downtown Oklahoma, and also of the south side. It's just a nice atmosphere to be in. It was really fun. Yeah, I even saw Devon Tower. But if heights aren't your thing, there are other things to do down here. There are the hammocks. So we've got uh, 12 hammocks that line the bank of the Oklahoma River, and it's a great place to read a book in the afternoon. There's bocce ball. Or you can sit on top of Oklahoma City. The sign, that is. We like to say that Humid's OKC letters, which you can see behind me here, have become the most selfied spot in Oklahoma. Also, if you're in need of a place to rent for an event, there's a pavilion on site. Bring your own food or buy from the food truck. There are other snacks and drinks available too. All in all, the Wheeler Ferris Wheel really has it all for a family wanting to slow down and just enjoy each other. It's a nice ride and after you're done you can sit and eat or just bring your picnic blanket and find a nice spot and just kind of relax. And when planning your visit, make sure you stay late enough for this. 
something the Ferris wheel didn't have in Santa Monica, a little Oklahoma bling. As part of its refurbishment, we added a whole brand new LED light system. And so uh, really you can see those lights from just about anywhere. The Wheeler Ferris wheel, it doesn't disappoint. In Oklahoma City, Angela Buckaloo, Discover Oklahoma. The Wheeler Ferris Wheel is open every evening during the summer except Mondays. You can find out about ticket prices and season passes by hitting up their Facebook page. Up next, our quest for the best burger continues. It's the best there is. The spot you'll want to try too, up next on Discover Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Travel Guide is filled with festive events and iconic attractions, outdoor wonders, and the hottest places to eat and stay. It's the perfect roadmap to unforgettable adventures. Order your free Oklahoma Travel Guide today at TravelOK.com. Some like it quiet. Some like it loud. Some want to just get lost in the crowd. Whatever you like, from mountains to museums, Oklahoma has more. You just have to see them. This is the land of wide open wonder, where excitement runs rampant in the city of thunder. Music and art put on their best faces, and smiles are shared freely in so many places. TravelOK.com invites you to see. Come see for yourself where you'd rather be. The Rhythm and Roots Music Trail is your front row seat to excitement. Hit the road to explore rock, blues, country, all of Oklahoma's rich music heritage. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. Sit alone and talk and watch our heart making lazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is grand. And when we say I am the we we're only saying you're doing fine. Oklahoma. 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 Okay. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. You forgot the honey lamb. <laughs> We've had so much fun hanging out here at the Queen of the Teas in Newcastle. And everything here is quite unique, just like our next story. Shelly Mills takes us to the Hamburger King in Shawnee. Hamburger King is located here in downtown Shawnee. And while this may not always be the busiest part of town, just inside that door, there's almost always a crowd. It's the best there is. A pretty bold claim, but one that echoes through the booths of Hamburger King here in Shawnee. Double meat cheeseburger. This restaurant has been a staple in this community for decades. Fresh beef, fresh vegetables. An Oklahoma original, a spot considered a hidden jewel to those who eat here often. You come in, choose your seat, and then place your order by simply picking up the phone. They used to be red, um, and until they you know, finally quit working, we had the black ones installed. Crystal Williams grew up in this restaurant. Open back in 1927, it was originally the idea of her great uncle. It passed on to Crystal's grandfather, Bill Maxis, and now 90 years later, it remains in the family. The whole family's just pitched in throughout the years. Everyone's done their part. Crystal's dad and aunt are the current owners, but she manages the restaurant during the day. We just use the same techniques we've used forever. We don't smash, like we don't ball the meat up and smash it on the grill. We just, well, the patties are perfectly portioned so they stay juicy and fresh and hot. A bite into one of these juicy burgers is something these customers keep coming back for. Good hamburger. Best in John A. I can remember it coming here when I was a little kid and uh, my uncle would bring me down here and we'd have a hamburger and a Coke for a quarter. While those prices have changed some, the burgers are still a bargain. It's a really fun, nice atmosphere. It's good, fresh food. It's, um, and you can get full for not a lot of money. If you want to get out of Oklahoma City and have a good hamburger, this is the place to go. 
They have onion rings, tater tots, and chili cheese potato wedges. The chili and stew are available year round and are one of the items customers say you just gotta try. Of course, no meal here is complete without a piece of pie. Seasonal fruit pies are always on hand, but there are plenty of others you can try year round. The coconut and chocolate are our best sellers. A meal that's light on your pocketbook and worth the drive to downtown Shawnee. Shelly Mills, Discover Oklahoma. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, to click Request Free Brochures and get your copy. A big thank you to the folks here at the Queen of the Teas for hosting us this week. You'll find them open Tuesday through Friday from 10.30 to 5.30 p.m. on Main Street in Newcastle, or you can visit their location in Purcell. You can also browse their existing designs or dream up one of your own on their website. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, get ready to saddle up and ride. We'll show you where you can take the family for an authentic horseback experience. And resort style accommodations at one of Oklahoma's great state parks. It's all coming up next Saturday night right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.